Welcome everybody, Vesti here, Venice Peace Tech. It is almost the middle of December and everybody loves this Christmas period. Why? Let's be real guys. It's not because of this or that. It's because we are, we are getting gifts, right? And yeah, Samsung just tried to make a very nice surprise gift to us. A software update is available every time we see this message or at least every time I see this message, I'm really happy about it because this means, yeah, new update. What is new here, guys? Security of the device has been improved and then, you know, we have the standard text. Now, what is a bit weird, guys? Every time you press here, learn more at, yeah, you just see, I'm just even still getting some old messages for Android um, 11, which is not very cool. And I'll urge Samsung to fix that one. But the version that we have here, guys, is the BUL1 or the BUKG. And it is indeed security patch level from December the 1st, right? This is the version here and it's only 213 megabytes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to install it now. And what I'm usually doing in these videos, guys, we're going to be checking some of the Samsung stock applications. If there is a version upgrade, like for the launcher, the camera, the Samsung biometrics patch, but also the camera and the gallery. And after checking if all of those Samsung stock applications have been updated, we're gonna be starting the more interesting part, which I think you're here to watch it. Camera opening, camera closing, testing the shutter lock, applications opening, closing, you know, in landscape, in horizontal mode. And guys, I know a lot of you out there were not happy with the last November update, specifically users that are using the US versions or the South Korean versions that has the Snapdragon um, system on a chip or the Snapdragon CPU. I have to be honest with you, with the Exynos 2100 version, did not really come across any big issues. The November update was quite nice for me. And I really hope guys that now with this December update, Samsung are going to try to fix everything. There was this issue that the Samsung Snapdragon users were going from 120 hertz to 60 hertz refresh rate so this was kind of crippling the whole performance but this was not really relevant and this did not impact the Exynos version. Now as you can see this update being only 200 megabytes downloaded so quick and installed right I always urge you guys after performing a system update what you can do is you can start the good gardens what used to be called galaxy labs and try to optimize your application you can check my video here and if you want to take it to the next level right if you really want to be mad at this go angry you can go inside the recovery and also clear the cache now honestly guys yeah i will only just optimize all of my applications with the galaxy good gardens and just leave it like it but why you're here besides all the up testing and the camera testing yeah I'm also going to be doing a kick bench and you know, I want to be real about my videos. I'm not going to put the phone in the fridge to optimize the temperature. So you're probably going to see one of my worst results on the S21 Ultra. But for all more benchmarking, you can check my video here where I did a lot of extensive testing with putting the phone in the fridge to normalize the operating temperature. Enough talking guys, let's be here when that's done and we will start our review. And we are now here with the December Samsung S21 Ultra update. Let's check the version. We're gonna go into settings. See guys, finishing system update. How can we check the version? Scroll down, go to about phone and choose software information. All right, here we are, One UI version four, Android version 12, of course. Google Play system update still from the 1st of September. Software update, your phone has been updated. Now it's time for some versioning checks. So the first thing I always check is the home screen settings, scrolling down. We have 13.0.0.1.14, which was pretty much the same version used also on the previous, on the November update. Now let's just check the gallery, going inside the gallery, going to settings and going to about gallery. Yeah, 13.0.0.0.4.0, same version as well used into the November update. This is Good Gardens and usually guys, you're gonna get a message after updating. If you experience slowdown after software update boost now, and the Galaxy App Booster is the one I was referring previously. But now go back to version checking. Let's check the version for the Samsung Internet. Going down here, going to about Samsung Internet. 16.02.19, it is exactly the same version as used into December. Biometrics and security, going for the biometrics and security patch. 6.30.2113. 
same version and last thing guys really promise this time is gonna be the camera let's check also the camera the previous version was 12 0003 let's see if we're gonna get a new version here about camera it's still the same version so most probably this is just only opening up our security patch and yeah maybe who knows maybe maybe some bug fixes guys now let's try to do some apps opening apps closing and yeah of course the first thing we're gonna start is the camera so I'm taking the phone in my hand I'm not closing any of the applications running on the phone because I want to give you a more realistic experience so up opening up closing opening closing opening closing okay it's not so bad opening switching the camera let's just put the front camera portrait pretty much stable I would say now let's just see how the task changer will behave going here for all my recent applications not bad at all let's now try to use this feature here to navigate through the applications yeah you can just see it's doing a quite nice job guys it's not slow at all so I would say it is quite quite okay all right now let's start with some of the widget testing and you know I have a special screen on my Samsung called the widget testing screen I'm gonna open the weather closing opening closing opening opening closing opening all right let's open here the calendar okay not bad at all let's open Spotify all right oops first time slow okay yeah now it's good I guess I have a widget clicking here will guide me to my telegram channel and by the way you can subscribe for this telegram channel if you want so so I would say this is quite quite nice now let's go back on my home screen let's just now try to go to some of the other screens and you see and this is what people were saying guys this is why people are hating Samsung this is not acceptable for a smartphone that costs this much money right the first time the animation was very very lag very stuttery now it's a bit better but this is why people really are not happy and I really hope that Samsung will optimize it because honestly I'm also not very happy with this now let's just see another thing okay how smooth here uh, okay so first time doing this was again yeah not so smooth at all and let me just see if we go here yeah see every time guys you do a first time animation it will be really laggy and that's my experience honestly I'm not happy with this and please please Samsung if you or some of you watching this video please fix this we know that your hardware can do better than this so just please try to fix the software now let's try to open some applications for that I'm gonna go here and close all of it all right so opening Mixcloud okay first load here okay opening Spotify all right not so bad at all open the gallery closing open the browser closing Okay, not so bad guys open the expert role camera function okay not so bad at all let's now open some games I've chosen here two games temple run and brawl stars and that's for a reason I've turned the phone line disk close all my applications and I'm gonna start temple run and see it starts directly in this mode but there is no fancy animation like we've seen on the pixel right the pixel will do a nice rotate here we just get this immediate start it's not bad right but this is what you're gonna get if you're using one UI 4 and let's now start Brawl Stars All right, Brawl Stars will just start in a very regular way now one final thing guys we still need to do is run the gig batch test but before that I just want to show you guys I've been using my phone right now I updated it it's running 40 degrees so I'm just even not gonna get close to the average performance result and I'm 100% sure on that because I know already how my phone behaves but still I'm gonna do a benchmark and now is the time again for me to bring the topic guys I try to be as real as I can which pretty much means that I'm taking the phone out of my pocket putting it here on the table and in most of those cases guys I'm shooting the video on one shot and this also pretty much means that if you gonna get the same phone you could probably just experience the same usage patterns and this is why I don't want to cool down my phone and just try to show you some unrealistic results because then you're gonna buy the phone and then you're gonna see that a lot of the youtubers out there are just not being fair so I'm trying to be fair with you guys and that's why I just updated my phone I just tested all these applications and I'm just running right now Geekbench without massaging it without cooling down the temperature because in the real life you'll not have the chance to cool down your phone or somehow massage it to get better results all right so let's now see how much will Geekbench give us 
and time to be real oh not so bad guys i expected worse because last time in the november update i used the very same conditions and then i got a score single core score around 500 so right now i think this is an improvement because again guys i want to use the phone in a real use case scenario and try to run the benchmark after the phone has been updated, after the phone has been used, so that we can just see how well the benchmark in brackets will behave. So 860 on the single core, 3000 on the multi-core. So you see, I'm very close to the average, which means for me a nice result. And by the way, I'm almost hitting the average for the multi-core score. So guys, this is really a very, very nice surprise. Overall, I don't have any problems with this update so far. You can just see my phone, guys. It's not ideal, yeah, but it's not running so slow. A lot of people out there are trying to shame Samsung, and I think some of this really is valid. Sometimes we have this starter, right? And I, like here, you see, this is not really acceptable. First animation always stuttery. I'm not sure why, but I'm really begging Samsung to try to change this if they can, because the S21 Ultra is a very nice device, and for me, still the best phone out there for 2021 so guys i don't have anything bad to say for this particular december update only these stuttering parts still really make me crazy but overall right overall it's not so noticeable if you use the phone as a daily driver guys please you and your family stay safe like the video subscribe to the channel while i'm getting back to my christmas duties and hope we're gonna meet in one of my next episodes with that said mr over and 